the sad fate of Alicent Hightower in House of the Dragon. At the end of the second season, we saw Alicent lose everything very quickly, from his grandson's life to her power in court. This led Alicent to regress back to her youth, returning to biting her fingers and dressing in a light blue again, until she finally decided to fight for her life by surrendering to Rhaenyra in an act of betrayal to the Greens. But what Alicent doesn't know is that because of this decision, she will end up losing her life. What will happen when Rhaenyra arrives at King's Landing and realizes that Aegon has escaped? Could Helena change her mother's fate? In this video, we'll talk about Alicent's sad ending and how it compares to her story in Fire and Blood. And for more videos from the universe of Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this video, we want to announce a new giveaway where we will be giving away the first book of the saga of a Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, The Hedge Knight. One of the books that serves as inspiration for the next series of the Game of Thrones universe, in which we will learn more about Brynden Rivers who eventually becomes the Three-Eyed Raven. So if you want to participate, just share in the comments which is your favorite character from the Game of Thrones universe, and why. The winner will be announced on September 25th. In the book, Fire and Blood, Alice and Hightower's fate is not as spectacular as I imagine it will be in the House of the Dragon series. In the books, after the death of her son King Aegon II, Alicent lives out her final days in the Red Keep, isolated and forgotten. The Great Queen, who once held influence at court and played a key role in the usurpation of the throne, eventually died of the Winter Fever, a disease that spread through the kingdom after the Dance of the Dragons. This means that her death symbolizes the end of her line of influence in politics and in the dynasty, as she not only lost her son, but also her place in the history of Westeros. Before it all fell apart, Alicent Hightower lived a life marked by greatness and success. From her arrival at court, her influence and ability to handle politics made her one of the most powerful figures in the realm. As the daughter of Otto Hightower, the Hand of the King, Alicent had access to the most important decisions and quickly learned to navigate the complicated world of politics. Her marriage to King Viserys Targaryen granted her the status of queen, further consolidating her power. This is when Alicent was able to be the center of power, ensuring that her son, Aegon II, would be the successor to the Iron Throne instead of Rhaenyra, Viserys' eldest daughter, and his rightful heir, according to her father's will. As Viserys aged and his health weakened, she and her father Otto took the reins of the kingdom, becoming the true rulers behind the shadows. With intelligence and cunning, she knew how to manage political tensions, keeping the Greens united, and ensuring that her sons, especially Aegon, were in position to take power. Under her leadership, the High Towers consolidated their influence and position at court. Alicent managed to keep her family as one of the most powerful in Westeros, managing every move with precision to protect her lineage. However, his success was not only political. Alison also managed to maintain a semblance of devotion and righteousness, using her religion as a symbol of purity and honor that many respected. Even as tensions with Rhaenyra intensified, Alison continued to project the image of a woman who served the realm above everything else. For years, she was seen as the perfect queen, fair, devout, and dedicated to the cause of her family and the realm. But all that power and success she enjoyed began to crumble quickly when the Dance of the Dragons conflict finally erupted. But how did Alicent come to lose everything she had built? In the second season of House of the Dragon, we saw how Alicent Hightower, once a figure of power in the court, was left completely alone and exiled from the Green Council. And how could such a powerful woman get to this point? Alicent's emotional and psychological decline began with the cruel death of her grandson at the hands of Blood and Cheese, an event that tore her daughter Helena apart. Alicent, 
who had always protected her children and grandchildren with unwavering strength, began to lose her center as she watched grief invade her family. This tragedy marked the beginning of her descent, because in addition to dealing with her own suffering, she had to endure watching Helena sink into despair. This meant that her strength began to break from within. Added to this, her son Aegon II began to rule following only his own criteria, making decisions without consulting those who had more experience in the kingdom, such as Alicent or his grandfather Otto. Alicent saw the dangers of Aegon occupying the throne, as he was neither prepared nor mature enough to lead a kingdom divided by war. This aggravated her sense of helplessness, and for the first time, Alicent began to question whether all her sacrifices, her forced marriage, and the loss of her friendship with Rhaenyra had been in vain. Do you think it was worth everything she did for her family? But that's not all. The final blow to her authority came when her other son, Amond, assumed power as regent while Aegon was seriously injured. Amond, blinded by his ambition and unhealthy love for power, quickly displaced his mother from the Green Council, the very council she had controlled for years. Amon not only stopped listening to Alicent, but pushed her aside completely, making decisions without consulting her and positioning himself as the real power behind the throne. This meant that Alicent, who once pulled the political strings at court alongside her father, was completely sidelined. Alicent, who had worked all her life to ensure the future of her children and the stability of her house, found herself alone and stripped of any real power. Faced with this desperate situation, she made a radical decision to surrender to Rhaenyra. In a last attempt to save herself and her daughter Helena, Alicent betrayed the Greens, the side she herself had helped to consolidate. She offered Rhaenyra her help to conquer King's Landing, seeking a truce that could save their lives. This desperate move showed Alicent's most vulnerable side, the woman who had once controlled the court and who was able to manipulate her own son to usurp the throne was now only looking for a way to survive. So I wonder, how far is a mother willing to go to protect her children? In the books, when Rhaenyra seizes King's Landing, it is mentioned that Alicent and Helena are sent to a brothel as punishment. This act was motivated by the arrogance of both of them, who openly criticized the bastards. Rhaenyra decided to humiliate them in the cruelest possible way, forcing them to share the fate they despised so much, leaving them exposed to a fate as dark as the one they once criticized, thus burdening them with their own bastards. But what could happen to Alicent in the series? Although in the books Alicent dies of winter fever, the series could give her a much more dramatic ending. Instead of a slow and forgotten death, we could see Alicent facing Rhaenyra's justice. If Rhaenyra arrives at King's Landing and discovers that Aegon has escaped, something Alicent assured would not happen, Rhaenyra could interpret this as a betrayal and sentence her to death. Alicent has already lost everything that mattered to her, her power, her influence, and control over her children. Her only option was to betray the Greens and beg for mercy, but if Rhaenyra believes she was deceived, she could retaliate. This means Alicent could face an even crueler fate than in the books. But this is where the series could offer an interesting twist. Just as we saw with Bran Stark in Game of Thrones, who could enter Hodor's mind and control him, Helena could manifest a similar ability. On several occasions, Helena has been shown to not only be able to see or predict the future, but she could also have the ability to enter the visions or minds of others. Just as she did with Damon in Season 2, to give him a direct and important message. If Rhaenyra discovers that Aegon is not at King's Landing as promised by Alicent, and becomes enraged to the point of planning her punishment, Helena could sense Rhaenyra's intentions through her visions. In a desperate attempt to save herself and her mother, Helena could use her ability to enter Rhaenyra's mind, and just as she did with Daemon, try to influence or control her. Her goal would be to deflect Rhaenyra's fury or even 
manipulate her judgment to avoid the terrible fate that awaits them at the hands of the Queen. This dramatic twist would not only add a supernatural and emotional element to the confrontation between Rhaenyra and Alicent, but would also deepen the relationship between Helena and her mother. In trying to save her, Helena would prove that her powers are much more than previously thought, adding an intriguing layer to her character's future. This begs the question, could Helena change her mother's fate and her own? The difference from the books is clear. Instead of a quiet death by disease, Alison could be executed or humiliated for treason, taking with her any hope of redemption. However, Helena could be the key to changing the fate of both, trying to use her gift to avoid the tragic outcome that the world seems to have in store for them. Or will Helena, focused on the fact that history is already written, allow her destiny to be fulfilled even if it is devastating and tragic? The series is taking creative liberties, and Helena's intervention in this conflict could offer an even more unexpected outcome. Will Helena manage to save her mother? Or will Alicent die at the hands of Rhaenyra with no chance of redemption? Alicent Hightower's story is full of intrigue, power, and tragedy. Her fall from the heights of power to despair is a reminder of how the Game of Thrones can destroy even the most cunning. But with Helena potentially stepping in, Alicent's fate could change drastically in the series. Now I ask you, do you think Helena will use her abilities to save her mother? Could this twist significantly alter the events we know from the books? What do you think will happen to Alicent Hightower in House of the Dragon? Share your opinion in the comments. And if you liked this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos of theories, news and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on... The Three-Eyed Raven.